Let it go, let it go. Hillary Clinton can't let 2016 go. The people's pantsuit, perhaps trying to drum up some more pity for her failed presidential bid, claiming Trump winning in 2024 would be, quote, the end of democracy. Trump wins, which I do not believe will happen. Let me just quickly say that. If in some scenario that were to happen, um, it would be the end of democracy in the United States. <laughs> People voting for someone you don't like is not the end of democracy. It's democracy in action. She didn't think he was gonna win in 2016 either, but look where that got her. So are Hillary's words basically confirmation that Trump's heading back to the White House? It's prophecy. Let's ask tonight's party panel. We've got Independent Women's Forum senior policy analyst Inez Stepman is back along with co-founder of Base Politics, Brad Palumbo, and director of the Libertarian Institute and editorial director at antiwar.com, Scott Horton. Um, Scott, I'm gonna let you uh, tee this up because Hillary Clinton is not a good person, but I did not know that Bill Clinton has a nickname for her. What is that nickname? Yeah, he calls her the warden because he hates her as much as we do. <laughs> and you know, now that you played that clip out loud, I take that in a little bit different context. I think maybe that was a threat. That she was just saying, unlike, you know, their sort of failed half a coup attempt framing Trump for treason like they did last time, that she's saying, no, the CIA will just go ahead and stop holding elections and just choose our, our and coronate her or somebody else as our president instead. But, you know, this lady, to hear her or act or anyone about democracy, when the reason she lost that election is because she cheated. And it's in the Podesta emails that she promoted what they call the Pied Piper strategy. So to ask her friends in the media to support and boost Donald Trump because he'll did. be the easiest to beat in the fall. And cheaters never win. And then what she do? She tried to frame him for treason with Russia, which everyone should really read that Durham report. It shows that the Clinton campaign was behind it all in the first place. So she's the biggest cheat in politics since JFK stole Illinois in 1960. Yeah. So to hear her talk like that is just completely ridiculous. Oh, one more thing. She said the threat is Trump will get us out of NATO. I wish that was true. The guy is far <laughs> more W. Bush than Ron Paul. We already saw him in there for four years. Yeah, he just wants more people to pony up, but he doesn't. You're absolutely right about that. He doesn't want to end NATO. So what is Hillary doing here, Brad? See, I postulated on the five that she's actually running for vice president because she knows she's going to outlive Joe Biden and then she can serve out the rest of his second term and then run again on her own. What do you think she's doing, Brad? Look, I think Hillary Clinton's just doing the typical fear monger thing here that Democrats do all the time. And really, she just needs to take a Xanax. If Trump wins, which I don't think is likely, but if he does, it would not be the end of democracy. We already had him as president once and the sky did not fall. I do think that what he did in 2020, denying the, the results baselessly and trying to overturn them was a threat to democracy, absolutely. But him running again and getting elected wouldn't continue that threat. It would do the opposite. It's also a bit rich coming from Hillary because she ran around for years talking about how Trump was an illegitimate president and the Russians interfered in 2016. She didn't exactly accept the results gracefully. In fact, she embraced her own form of anti-democracy denialism. So I just think the idea that either party, I mean, the Democrats literally funded election denying Republicans in the last midterm race. The idea that any part, either major party, party has a sincere commitment to democratic values beyond when it actually just aligns with their partisan interests. Yeah, color me skeptical. Uh, I tend to agree with that, Inez, because Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump essentially did the same thing. They denied the results of the election, but they were still election results that didn't go in their favor. So I don't think democracy is going to die, but I do think there's something to what Scott said. And I think what the media is doing is trying to take down DeSantis as hard as they possibly can because he poses a bigger threat in the general election than Trump does. And, you know, they're boosting Trump and some of those poll numbers. Well, first of all, I'm, I, I'm kind of skeptical of the idea that anybody knows which one of them will be a better general election candidate. I think it'd be foolish to assume that either one of them couldn't win this election. Um, so, because I, I mean, we got a big surprise in 2016. Um, I, it, it was a very close race in 2020. 
Um, all that is required is 30,000 votes between several different states. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it would be foolish to imagine that Donald Trump cannot win again. Uh, obviously, it's ridiculous to say that if the United States takes a different foreign policy posture, if somebody's elected to take that different foreign policy posture, that it's the end of democracy. I mean, I'm starting to think that these people, when they're talking about, quote unquote, our democracy, are speaking literally about they think that the, the democracy is theirs. Um, and, and yes, I, I really don't take it well, this kind of comments about norm breaking and our democracy uh, from people who are quite willing to break very important norms of liberal democracy, like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, not prosecuting and persecuting your domestic political opposition when they leave power. Are you talking about Hillary? You know, I'm saying uh, Donald Trump, you know, all of these cases against Donald Trump, right, not to mention all of the um, sort of administrative state actions that were taken while he was in president, for example, going around the elected president to have a high level general discuss, you know, foreign policy with ch with China in, in a way that was completely avoiding looping in the elected president of the United States. Those are serious, quote unquote, norm breaking things in a liberal democracy, like yeah. civilian control of military. That's a real norm breaking. That's, that's a real hey, threat ma'am, That's democracy. what you get with establishmentarians uh, like Milley and Biden and Hillary Clinton. So that's what you're voting for, they're terrible people.